Hey there, Nate here with the Volunteer Tech Vlog on the Live Sound 101 YouTube channel. Thanks for coming along for a ride. This with, uh, uh, with me, uh, that is, this video will be a media report for a wedding that occurred on January 16th, 2016. And before I get too far, I'm just gonna pull right over here and run down the list. So, the report for this wedding. So weddings are a little bit of a different beast uh, than a typical, uh, I, I normally do sound for, for a church Sunday mornings if you've been following me. So uh, weddings and church services, a lot of similarities, but also different. So today for music, we've, we had a violin. I put an SM57 on the violin. Great choice of mic for that one. Uh, a vocal mic on an SM58. Piano, a large diaphragm condenser. I can't remember if it was Audio Technica or I think it was an Audio Technica. I can't remember if it was the 2120 or something like that. Uh, anyway, next we had, and then we had a pulpit gooseneck microphone, which is normally plugged into channel 27. I moved it over to input 18, and then in software audio console, I changed the input from. 27 to 18 so I didn't have to copy and paste all the uh, the presets for the pulpit they were already there for that gooseneck microphone and then the next thing so and then I put a lav on the officiant so he had a lav mic right here and I put a lav on the groom um, so that was pretty much it for music uh, very straightforward I pitched the idea um, let's see what else so I'm going to talk about wireless handheld um, da, 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 da. yeah, so I pitched the idea of, um, of put, of giving the officiant a handheld wireless, uh, microphone. And so this is one of those things where, um, the sound guy kind of has to pr be prepared to do a number of different things. So what I have observed happening is that during the vows exchange, um, between the bride and the groom, um, nobody can hear the vows and so from a sound person's perspective I think hey that's a problem let me solve that problem uh, come to find out there are other schools of thought that think the vows should be personal and private and that the technology is distracting and there shouldn't be a microphone and it should just be a personal thing between them and if the audience hears it great if not it wasn't meant to be. So that is a new school of thought that I, I hadn't thought of, that I learned about today. Because I, I mentioned, so from the last wedding I did, nobody could hear the bride and groom, and I, afterwards I, I always try to think of lessons learned. Well, how could we improve for next time? And so one of the ideas that came up was a wireless handheld that the officiant would kind of pull out of their back pocket and just kind of hold up as the bride and groom are doing the vows. and. Um, there are a number of reasons why that might be awkward for the officiant because the officiant sometimes is, is doing a recited, recited set of vows where he's saying them and the, they're repeating them. So he's got to look at the vows and hold the mic. And so there's good reasons why an officiant might be uncomfortable holding that. So maybe a, a best man or bridesmaid could do that. That wireless handheld, probably not a good idea. What we ended up doing was, as I said in my input list that I just ran through, was we put a wireless lab on the groom only, not the bride, because nobody's seen the bride beforehand, and she's coming from somewhere else, and she's getting dropped off, and, you know, coordinating, uh, miking up a bride that's wearing a white dress with a black microphone, is, unless you've got a white microphone, it's kicking around, um, you know, a white body pack or some way to hide it, and you've got time to do that, it's... You know, for a big wedding with a lot of production, you could probably do that. But for a small wedding in a, in a small church, it's probably not going to happen. So what we did is we mic'd up the groom, but I did not route the audio from the groom's mic uh, live in the house. I, I only sent that to the recording. So it was more of just um, capturing the, the personal moment for the recording for the bride and groom so that they can go back and have that memory and listen back to it. And that was kind of the approach we took. Um, so that was, that was, um, I thought it went really well. I thought everything went really well. I had, uh, Mike is, is our pastor typically. So he knows how to turn the, the body packs on and off. He's very familiar with that. So he was able to, uh, help PJ remember to do that. Cause you know, a nervous groom that's, you know, getting married is probably not going to remember to, oh yeah, let me turn the wireless body pack on before I walk out this door. Right. So, so that was good that Mike kind of carried that, that responsibility for me. 
Um, and then the other cool thing has nothing to do with sound, but for photography, this I thought this was a really cool idea that Josh did. Um, so he was photographing, Josh and Kate were, were photographing the wedding, and right after the announcement of the bride and groom, and they all walked down the aisle, um, and everybody claps, and you know, they say, I now present for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Blah, blah, blah. Um, right after that, they walk down, and normally people are dismissed by row, and they do some sort of line. Well, what happened was, um, the officiant said, okay, now we're gonna have the bride and groom come on back up. And they came on back up, they got into their positions, and uh, Josh, the photographer, came up to the loft, which is like way above 20 feet higher than the sanctuary, big balcony up there. He came up there with his camera and did like a huge group photo of everybody and had everybody turn and look up, which I think is a super cool idea from a photography standpoint, but just to be able to orchestrate that and get everybody to, to look up and to, um, um, get the bride and groom where they need to be and the bridesmaids all back up and the groomsmen all back up so anyway that was but anyway i think the um the result is they're going to have a really cool picture of everybody who attended uh the ceremony so some 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 good food for thought if you're planning weddings or you're a photographer or you're going to get married you know it might be something to to consider and other than that i think that pretty much uh, wrapped it up we had piano only which made things easy no organ to deal with but, um, yep, this has been a media report for January 16th, 2016, uh, for the wedding that occurred. I'll see you in the next video.